So Sailor Sats has been sitting here for since the very start. So thank you very much. Sailor, what would you like to say? Oh, can you hear me? Mm hmm Yeah. It's the first time that I'm here and it's a pleasure. I've been watching all your videos or not all, I should say most of your videos and I have um, also started reading your book. All right. Hope you're enjoying and, it so uh, far. Yeah, I, I must say this, that uh, uh, after listening to you and then you start reading the book, you know, it's like your voice is coming into the text. Right. Yeah. No? Yeah, it, look, it makes I, more yeah. sense and it, it, it gives uh, a lot more connect. Okay. Well, that's, um, yeah, fair but enough. You know, you, you know what I did? You know what I did? I, I, I told people that I just... Uh, uh, my book is now available on Audible and Kobu and, you know, um, all, all these, all, all of your favorite, um, all, all your favorite audio books. So there, there's the one, my book is available on Audible, so you can download it. So I, this is not obviously, it hasn't been read by me. It's been read, read by some British man and, um, uh, his voice is very, you know, like an older gentleman. It sounds really, it, it makes, it makes my text sound even more smarter than what it is. Um, I actually listened to it and yeah, you're probably right. You know, like, I mean, some of the arguments that I heard, I was like, oh yeah, I don't, I don't bring that up anymore. Cause obviously I wrote it about two years ago and I think I might've changed a little bit in two years. So, but anyway, I'm, I thank for your, uh, thank you for, uh, for the nice feedback. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I've just been taking up this, uh, uh, issues with all the, uh, religious texts and this and that. So, uh, I, I pick and choose from the Bible, from the Torah, and from uh, the Quran and the Upanishads and this and that. And uh, yeah, I mean, what you're doing is absolutely good. And I must uh, tell you that all that you have done for uh, Spartacus is commendable, whatever you have done. Because I, I saw him, I mean, I heard him. Uh, you know, uh, narrate the whole thing during uh, the Neera Jatris and uh, Kali's uh, show. So that that is very good of you and what you're doing. Wonderful. Well, I um uh, yeah, with 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 thank you, but um I I genuinely don't think that I've done enough. Um, all I did was just uh, interview him, uh, which uh, is pretty much like what I do every day now. Um, and obviously he himself was so brave uh, and intelligent um, that he could actually go through the experience and still keep his head above his shoulders. Um, he didn't go into despair. He didn't give up. Uh, he still, you know, traveled to another country. Uh, I can't imagine uh, being as brave as he actually is. So it it, it, it takes, I've, I've said it quite often that if I was in Pakistan, I probably wouldn't be doing this. Not probably. I think I definitely wouldn't be doing this. I would be a closeted atheist in Pakistan if I didn't know mm -hmm. that I could go out and on. So there, there's special kind of people, people like Spartacus. Um, and I think these guys are the actual treasure of, of humanity, uh, of our species. Th these are the very few guys who just, against all odds, knowing that what they're doing will cost them their life. They still do it. I, I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. As I said, I would never do it. So even if, if, when it came to Spartacus, I was a bit reluctant at the start to help him because I just didn't know what I could do at that point. I was still pretty early on in my activism as well. Um, but, you know, it was people who supported, people who funded um, his uh, escape, and we just passed them. I just passed it on to him. And now he's uh, stood, he's, he's, he stood on his feet. Uh, he 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 grabbed the bull, and um, it's. Uh, I think he's doing very good, all because of himself, because he could do it. He had it in him. Uh, but yes. yeah, I, I definitely thank thank you. I, I, I thank you for your compliment. Yeah. Now I just had to mention one incident. Uh, this happened sometime in the ninety two. Yeah. Uh, I joined C. I, I will, I'm a sailor, basically. Uh, right now, now I've now I've quit sail for the last uh, ten years. But uh, during my first voyage, uh, we had to uh, load uh, 
some you know fast cargo in rastanura in saudi arabia right and i had another uh, batchmate who was a cadet uh, from bihar and he is a uh, he is from the muslim faith yeah islamic faith right and uh, uh, we were topping up in the sense uh, we we were loading at a very fast rate about 6000 tons an hour that is that is a loading rate and we were almost coming to the brim and where uh, this uh, other batchmate of mine he uh, he just left the walkie talkie in the uh, in the tank area and went to his uh, cabin and started praying because that was a time for uh, namaz so prayer Right. Yeah, prayer. And uh, we were searching for him, and then we were almost, you know, we somehow avoided the oil spill, <laughs> and uh, it was a disaster that we did. And uh, then we spoke to him, and when I spoke to him, he said, you know, this is there in the Quran that you know you have to do this and whatever it is. And then he also told me that uh, you know there is an uh, uh, Quran saying that. Uh, the salt water and sea water doesn't uh, i mean the river mix. water and the they they don't mix he started explaining that to me i said how stupid can you be because we can see that we have something called as brackish water yes yeah you uh, in, deep in the river even if you go to uh, uh, new orleans the mississippi river you from the sea water 1.025 you just reduce it and it keeps re- decreasing that that clearly yeah. shows that it is mixing yeah so after that uh, i didn't get in touch with him and then uh, some i think 5 years ago i spoke to him uh, just as a chance and then i asked him okay how is it going and this and that then are you still in the faith and this and he said no i quit wow so he he, he left islam yes Wow, that is quite something. Obviously, you know, you never know what you can say and then I I I think that people who are more dogmatic about the religion, if you if you shake their faith just tiny bit, you just sow a tiny seed of doubt in their mind, then you know the journey is their own. You know, like yeah, you're yeah. not going to talk to them every day. They're not going to listen to you every day. I in my other stream a couple of days ago I spoke with this person who called in the show and he said, you know, he used to hate me, used to curse me, but for some reason YouTube algorithm kept kept recommending my videos and he kept clicking <laughs> on it. And then he said in 6 months, you know, like he just he was like, damn it. <laughs> he ended up becoming an agnostic and then an atheist. But their journey is their own. Some people, you know, they tend to just step away they don't look into it i know a lot of moderate muslims they just because their lives are not impacted by religion so or by islam so you know it's um, it's a zero sum game for them i mean whether they leave or accept islam uh, it doesn't make any difference to them if they left islam it, it would it might cause them some trauma by you know by immediate friends and family but uh, it, 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 it there's definitely no benefit for them so that's why people who are more dogmatic they hmm. tend to um uh, tend to leave islam altogether because they go whoa hang on why am i killing myself over this crap um so they feel the sense of freedom so i don't know that might have happened they go i reckon i reckon just if you can free yourself from praying five times a day that alone is in, is incentive enough to uh, to quit islam my one of them I, i've spoken about it before but i'm not often enough i've said it because you know some people like to straw man us i've said When 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 I was started when I started doubting I actually did think that am I is it okay for me to waste my life over something that I'm not even sure about um sure you know like I mean I I was n- under no no one's pressure you know like as I said I lived a pretty free independent life from the age of 19 and even when I was in Pakistan even then my parents never really um were strict on me they never told me to go to a mosque or pray or fast even though but i just felt it that i should do it because that's the right thing to do but but then later on in my early teenage or late teenage years i i thought okay sh- i should fast i should pray but is it really worth doing it if there is no god to begin with um so you know people want to live an honest life and not a hypocrite life so that's why those muslims who don't pray five times a day to begin with or those who don't even fast to begin with they tend not to leave islam because you know the islam is not really impacting their life in a negative sense anyway that's true that's true well, all right so well thank you very much on, yep on a lighter note uh, just like right. to end that 
sometimes i feel that uh, you know your intention is to get everybody into atheism at least the uh, islamic community you know that's what my uh, understanding everywhere everywhere yeah everywhere our, yeah. Our, uh, uh, no but, not only this is not but then, I, I, uh, we yeah. would uh, we uh, we would lose out on those kind of charlies that we had uh, you know the one from bangladesh uh, about the plowing and uh, no you, i think about 3 months ago you had one guy who had uh, come a 20 year old uh, young boy about uh, about islam he was discussing with you and i've kept it in my playlist and i keep watching it over and over it's so funny i can't remember it but um, sure i am well, he was word talking word. of a mother and don't talk of mother oh right right right, right 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 the, right the uh, prime minister of uh, bangladesh and yeah, those... yeah 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 i i i th- i think i think it was a phony call i i don't think it was a uh-huh. legitimate muslim uh because i think i've recognized that person um he he's the same guy who sometimes come over and over again uh with different he, he, uh, i think he's a fraud but anyway it's just there anyway i think i should delete that video but anyway thank you very much for coming <laughs> sir thank okay. you thank thanks sir it's nice all Pleasure. right to help me produce more videos like these support me on patreon or paypal